Hi everyone, uh, we're going to do a cool modeling exercise today and I have chosen um, an Islamic ornament called Mukarnas for this exercise. So we're going to work um, on these uh, intricate plan drawings um, and try to model this complex uh, three-dimensional structure using the notion of symmetry. So um, this is actually a, uh, from a structure found in Kayseri, Turkey, and this uh, belongs to um, a heritage structure uh, from the Seljuk era, from 13th century. Its name is uh, Hacı Kılıç Mosk. And it has two characteristic Mukarnas gates, and uh, they have different uh, types of geometries, but this one is uh, pretty interesting because it has these... Uh, um, these repeating layers and it has these octagonal geometries as well so uh, it's maybe possible to see it a bit better in this plan that I found in a Turkish uh, uh, Turkish book and you can see that uh, the plan has a lot of these octagons and circles have been used to extract the proportions um, of these pieces so you can see that the intersection points along the layers uh, they have been used to determine uh, the star shapes and the polygons and uh, we're going to use some of these principles and try to model this in 3d so let's get right into it so um, i've already brought in uh, this plan drawing here and one thing to keep in mind is um, i mean we are going to work with proportions so scale is not going to be an issue so you can actually um, import this at any scale you want. Uh, we will just try to keep um, geometries that are repeating in a consistent manner. And I'm going to work with some layers to prepare the line drawings. So we are going to start with, uh, let's call it guides. So this, um, my image is actually in the default layer, so I'm just going to lock it. And the guides there will be in green. So, um, <clears throat> Let's see, we, we are going to first find the this tip point of the Mukarna. So if you look at this plan drawing, that's basically a reflected, uh, a reflected ceiling plan drawing. So that is, um, so we're going to start from the top and go down in layers. And some of these elements are actually repeating, which is going to be quite helpful for us. So um, let's draw a hypothetical line going from this point all the way up. Um, again, we are partially tracing this image, but we will um, basically use the notion of geometry extensively. So um, that's going to be our main concern um, for this exercise. Now, um, I need to find the center point here. I can just uh, place a dot and that will be our center. Now we can start by either um, drawing some circles like so. So I can just draw a circle here that intersects with this point. And uh, using that intersection, um, we can actually draw an octagon, uh, eight sided octagon. So uh, that octagon will intersect here, um, but the angle of it has to be pretty, pretty determined. So what I can do is draw a horizontal line at the tip point and then make a rotated copy of this axis here from the center at 22 minus 22 and a half degrees uh, let's make it actually a copy and minus 22 and a half degrees so this line uh, will actually intersect with this polyline uh, polygon so if I were to draw uh, an eight-sided polygon here now that will be the corner of our first polygon. So I can delete the circle and um, we can actually extract, start extracting some layers, but I'll just show you how we could also do, um, like copy this octagon to this uh, midpoint on this edge. So you can see that you find other octagon. And if you do it again, you find the sixth layer octagon. And if I use this octagon, and take mirror copies of it using these intersection points or the midpoints. I can find uh, these edges and I can find also this edge. 
So just by um, reflecting and copying octagons, we can actually find all the even layers in this Mucarnas. So I'm going to keep the guides on and switch to layers. <clears throat> and this one, I'm just going to make it red. And starting from here, I'm just going to trace the second layer. We can go from here and snap to these guide points. And that will be our fourth layer. And here we have the sixth layer. You can also do this um, by uh, trimming the, uh, the guides, or you can also keep mirroring these uh, outlines. So you, if I were to delete these, for instance, you can see that I'm tracing the main line there. Um, you can also do trim. So we can trim these polygons like so. And let's trim here too. And this would be our layer. If I were to join it, move it to uh, layers, That's uh, that would be my layer. The other ones are located here already. It might be a bit hard to see. So what I'm going to do is go to layers, set properties, print width, and give it a thick print width. And here, enable print preview so that you can see the thickness of those layers. Okay, so now uh, we have the even layer polygons determined. Now it's time to find the star shapes. Now this point is already retrieved by the polygon, but let's say you don't have this. How can we actually find uh, these points here? So if you look here, you can see that there are, there are squares that have been defined. So I'm switching to guides uh, and start drawing some diagonals. So this is the quadrant, um, the diagonal of the uh, square. And if I were to place a circle along the intersection, which is the center and to this corner, you see that we found this point here. So I can place a dot there. I also found this point, by the way. Um, but we, we will actually retrieve it through some other means. Now, to find this point, you can uh, actually connect the edge or the intersection, the midpoint of this polygon to this point. And if you extend it to this axis, um, that's one of the edges of the star actually. So if I were to switch to the layer, that's one of the edges of the star. And if I uh, mirror it using these axes, we can actually find um, the star shapes. So I'm going to just keep mirroring. So there's another guide here, which would be the diagonal. So let's actually actually draw that too. So this would be the diagonal line. So I'm going to mirror it, mirror this edge along this diagonal. So that's our first layer. This is our second layer, which is a polygon. And this star shape actually repeats itself. Uh, we can just relocate it using the midpoint or the center point of the Mukarnas and place it here at the intersection. Now you can see that uh, we do need to connect this point to the end of this polygon to find the fourth layer. Continuing the same way, I'm just going to copy this edge here and draw this line here. And to find this, we can just mirror this edge here. So that will be um, this layer and then taking symmetry along the diagonal this is the fifth layer. So uh, it's going pretty smoothly because the um, understanding the notion of symmetry in these plans actually do help to find the pieces. And we're going to model the seventh and eighth layer. So there might be a bit more, uh, I mean, we don't have to trace the drawing anymore. We are going uh, in proportion to existing. Uh, we start with the polygons, remember the octagons, and then we located the uh, stars inside of them. So we're going to do something similar here and we can do it in a bunch of ways. So uh, let's try to find these points here so we can again use the square. So I'm going to place this quadrant, place the circle 
and uh, this would be the intersection of this axis here so if I were to extend it all the way to the circle this is our point so I'll place a point there now this point will be a mirrored copy along this axis so this will be a horizontal axis so we can find the mirrored copy here and to find this point um, we can actually extend this line here so I can just extend the edge here and switching to layers we just place um, this uh, this star shape there but it, it's actually a polygon on this layer so it's making a switch and I'll just make mirrored copies of this shape to, to from the center so we find this polygon right here and this repeats itself again so we can just make a mirrored copy of it here and grab this portion make a mirrored copy here now um, we have to find this point which would be along this orthogonal axis and we can also draw an arc here so the arc the center of arc would be here so we can just carry this point somewhere here so this intersection would give us uh, that point we need so this is also symmetric by the way so let's switch these layers we go from here to here so that's our edge you now if I take mirrored copies of it using our quadrants and diagonals we actually find the seventh layer so I'm going to erase these now the last layer so in order to locate the last layer uh, we have to extend these trigonometric relationships so you can see um, we can actually start with this uh, shape here for instance if I were to um, draw this diamond I can grab this portion from here to here so wherever that ends that will be end of our mucarnas so I can just draw a horizontal line um, this is not much needed anymore uh, and here I'm just going to move it down and we have 45 degree angled pieces here um, we can also do like a mirrored copy and find the, the same edge here so um, a bunch of ways we can actually attack this for instance I can just move this edge here extend this curve all the way here uh, let's actually make it go straight well maybe not um, how can we do that actually like I want to find the intersection here that will be the quadrant of the um, of this uh, of this triangle at the bottom I mean a bunch of ways we can do this um, so for instance I'll just delete these draw a single line extend to this edge so that's the edge we want and if I were to mirror it um, the nice thing about this Mucarnas is all the lines are fitting to each other so <coughs> and these are the triangles last layer triangles and if I were to let's see if there are mirrored relationships probably this one is mirrored as well so if I make a copy here this would be another mirror along the diagonal and we're going to, just going to go up here from this point on upward so not necessarily we are following the underlying drawing because proportionally it, we may not be able to trace it perfectly so you need to base your plan drawing according to your guides which is pretty important so that um, you can actually find the layers uh, which are pretty much complete right now so I'm going to draw the outline which is the quadrant so yeah that's the quadrant these are the last layers I'm going to just uh, hide the guides so that you can see 
the uh, traced layer drawings which are proportional to each other and just um, extracting this drawing is important and then we can make use of secondary lines so let's give this another um, color let's make it um, purple or we can make it let's see which color should we use mm, let's make it purple that's fine and set properties print width let's make this 0 0.8 and I'm going to use this to uh, find uh, these other geometries so for instance we can just extract these quads and once you find this actually let's join this I'm going to make a copy and copy it here and we are going to copy it to this layer to this layer and we can also copy it to the center um, basically this this guy repeats itself right uh, it also repeats here by the way so we can also make use of the secondary geometry here and here let's see here and here and we will also need it along the diagonal so let's make a mirrored copy I'm going to copy it here so it's pretty much tracing the plan drawing uh, right so um, these guys are pretty much done I'm going to just trim all these additional geometries here on the side and lock the guides, lock the layers so that we can just grab these minus the, we can deselect the elements using control on our keyboard and mirror it diagonally um, using this line and that will be the secondary geometries completed and in place so uh, pretty much um, the Mukarna's plan has been traced right so these are the pieces um, we can connect this edge as well so I can just draw um, a line from here to here like so um, I'm, I have actually disabled end points so let's snap to them and if I mirror this to the other side, that would be the full Mukarnas, but we don't actually need to do that yet. So um, this is kind of the first step of uh, modeling the Mukarnas. Uh, in the next step, we are actually going to start uh, looking into three-dimensional aspects of this plan. Uh, but first of all, we have a proportional trace drawing that we can use, and all these pieces um, are kind of uh, have the same proportions and all we need to do now is to find uh, what the individual pieces inside uh, these tiles are okay so in the next um, in the next video we're going to look at a three-dimensional uh, version of this